Hello and welcome back to another Farming Simulator Giants Editor tutorial and today I'm going to be looking at the mix, mix Station version 3.3.0 I'm not entirely sure if that's the version I have I may actually have a slightly older version um, but nonetheless it should work exactly the same maybe a few changes but um, the general idea of how this is going to be imported into the map should be exactly the same um, just to note that this is actually a placeable mod but what I'm actually going to be doing here is importing it into the map via Giants Editor now I'm not entirely sure if one of these versions here is a version that's available for importing into Giant, into a map via Giants Editor it may be a Giants Editor version somewhere within all of this I can't say for sure um, like I said I believe the version I have is slightly older but the actual principle of it all should be exactly the same. Uh, I'll put a link to this page, uh, web page, to the Mario.net website in the description, so you can download this if you wish to and have a play around with it. So I've already got it on my desktop here, and I've got ahead and extracted the actual zip file, which is again a placeable, and I've got all the parts that I need in there. So what I need to do first of all is actually copy that over into the map that I'm going to be working with today, which is Thornton Farm specifically because it's one that I have available and this particular map doesn't have the mix station on it already so it's ideal for what I need so what I'm going to do is just go into map models buildings and then I'm going to copy over the mix station folder like so and I've already gone ahead and opened up the map in Giants editor and the place that I've selected is just here on the main farm itself we have our beef or whatever it is, fattening station, I believe, there. Um, oh, no, that's dairy cows. Sorry, I think that one is. The pig and beef fattening is over here. Yeah, that's right. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, there was a um, shed, a barn or something like that here, which I removed. And I then just basically highlighted one of the wall sections here and made a few copies of it to sort of bring it into... Um, give me some sort of backing if you like to close off this area for where I'm going to be putting the mix station into which is what I'm going to do now so I'm just going to go up to file import go to my desktop so I know I'm on the right folder here because I've got several different ones all over the place so Thornton Farm map models buildings mix station and then double click on the i3d now you may or may not have noticed that the lighting in the map suddenly got a lot better or a lot brighter um, and that's because this particular mod again it is a placeable it has its own light source which works fine as a placeable but when you're importing it into the map via giant editor that's not going to be acceptable because it could possibly cause shadowing issues most certainly lighting issues or lighting effects that won't be appropriate because it is after all a light source it may even cause certain lag issues within the map itself can't say for sure but it's not required so I'd say to highlight it in the cinegraph hit delete on your keyboard and then get rid of it and you will see that the brightness level then decrease somewhat as I deleted it so with that done you've got the mix station here in the cinegraph and I've gone ahead and selected it so I'm just going to go to edit interactive placement and then bring it over to the area I wish to put it into and then I'm just going to rotate it with the gizmo here and somewhat align it into an area that I want to put it into. So I sort of bring it back up against the wall here so I can get it in a sort of straight edge, if you like, or align it to the actual wall section. So it's somewhat parallel to it, if you like. And then what I'm going to do is actually bring it over slightly to the left here just to give me enough room to get down the side of it not maybe quite so far I don't want to get trapped up against that wall luckily the gate I believe does open the other way so shouldn't cause any problems there but I just want to be able to give myself enough room so that I can manipulate the pipe here with the in-game controls and perhaps maybe have it out to the side somewhat um, and then I can reverse my trailer or loading wagon or whatever else in here comfortably to collect the total mix rations from the actual mix station 
Okay, so what I'm actually going to do here is just re-highlight it and then bring it down just a little bit. There we go, that should be fine. Okay, so now that I've got it into the map like that, I don't need to make any further changes within Giants Editor because of the way the actual mod is structured. Again, being a placeable mod, it is structured so that it's kind of self-contained, if you like, um, and that's the reason why it can work as a placeable, I guess. And it's got all the appropriate parts in here, and I don't need to make any changes into any of that. So all I need to do now is just basically go ahead and click Save. Save this Giants Editor session, and then I will get out onto the desktop and go back into certain parts of the map structure in the folders and have a play around with some bits and pieces there, scripts, mod desk and other parts and join all together and hopefully then get into game and get it all working. So I'll see you back on the desktop. Okay, so here we are back on the desktop and what I'm going to do here is open up the mod desk for Thornton Farm and then I'm going to open up the mod desk for the actual mix station itself. And there's some parts in here that I basically need to copy over into the mod desk for Thornton Farm. So in the mod desk for the mix station itself, you've got some text between the 110N sections. I need to basically just highlight those and then copy them and bring them across into the 110N section within the Thornton Farm map. So if I come down to an appropriate place, somewhere here would be fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste them in like so. So now moving down to the extra source files, what I can do is highlight both of those, copy them, and then come back over into the Thornton Farm mod desk. And I'm going to go up to my extra source files here and then paste them in like so. Now obviously this path file name isn't going to be correct for Thornton Farm. It's fine for the actual placeable version of the mod, because it's all contained within one folder, but for um, or one folder structure, if you like, but for Thornton Farm, that's not going to be acceptable. So what I need to do here, or what I'm going to do, is actually minimise this a second, and I'm going to go into the Mix Station mod folder, and I'm going to go into the Script folder, and I'm going to take the actual scripts. I'm going to copy those, and I'm going to bring them over into the Scripts folder for Thornton Farm. Now the reason why I want to do this is because what I don't want is some massive great long path file name all across the screen here. So I want to kind of minimize this somewhat. So what I'm going to do now is change that path file name to what I have set up those scripts or the path file name that I've created by copying those scripts over into this particular folder. So what I've got is map scripts. So if I go into the Thornton Farm mod desk here, what I need to do is actually type in there map and then I'm going to change the uppercase s to a lowercase and then add an s on the end to that and then what I can do is actually just highlight all of that copy it and then paste it in there like so so now I have got map scripts and then live ticker dot lua and map scripts mix station dot lua so if I just double click that, I've double check that, sorry, I've got map scripts and then the two scripts. So that's perfectly fine. So that's all now aligned up and that path file name is correct. So if I go back over into the mod desk here for the actual mix station, I've got my input bindings. So I'm going to select all of that, copy it, come back over into the Thornton Farm mod desk. And if I go down below the 110N section here, I can then bring that in and paste it in like so. Okay, so just going to note here that the actual key binding for K, um, I have actually got a rental mod installed, and I found that the key K uh, combination there of the input conflicted with that particular mod. But what I recommend if you do have the same rental mod and you find that that is causing a conflict, don't change it within the mod desk here change it within the actual options in the farming simulator game itself. Leave these input bindings as they are, because if you ha happen to have the the actual placeable version of the mod in your mod folder at the same time as it's going to be in a map that you've imported it into, by changing those co key combinations or those input bindings within the mod desk may cause a conflict because it will have 
the same kind of input bindings in the mod desk here and also in the mod desk for the placeable version of the mod and they won't be the same so that could possibly cause a conflict so i would leave them alone there and just change them to the appropriate keys that you wish to use for this particular mod within the farming simulator game options itself from in game um, so now that I've got all that, I'm going to go ahead and save. And there's nothing further that I need to add in because all the rest of the information there is to do with the actual um, placeable version of the mod. So I don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I can close that down as well. So now that I've actually copied over those scripts, I don't need that folder open anymore. I've got all that set up. I've made the changes, the necessary changes to the mod desk that I need to make. And um, we've obviously imported it into the map. So everything is set up there perfectly fine. So now all I need to do is just basically zip all this up, put it into game, and then test it out in game and make sure it all works. So I'll see you shortly in game. Okay, so here we are in game. And as you can see, there is the mix station. Exactly how I placed it within Giant Senator. And if I then come over to the actual mix station info panel, we get all of our information shown up here for the mixing plant 1, TMR, or total mix ration at 0%, silage at 0, hay at 0, straw at 0. And if you look at the actual key bindings there, you will notice that I actually changed one of the key bindings. If you remember, I mentioned that the key binding of K was interfering with my um, rental mod. And if I press that, you'll see it brings up my rental vehicles mod. Um, but if I actually show you there in the description, I've got key J and H for the rotation, but I've changed the key K to an N, so I've now got N and M, and I've actually done that within the Giants Editor, uh, sorry, I've done that within the Farming Simulator option screen itself. So I can now come over and press my J key, and we swing the boom arm round, and if I then press the H key, it swings it the opposite direction, and I can then go N to extend it, and M to bring it back in again. It's all working perfectly fine there, so that's good. We've got our flashing beacon to say that we're actually empty, and you can see that the fill levels are indicating as such. So what I'm going to do now is just jump into the JCB here and fire this up. I'm going to do this third person because I'm absolutely useless at doing this sort of thing in cab. So, And I'm not much better in third person or outside of cab, but <laughs> it is better than being in cab, believe me. So I'm just going to do this now and put some silage in here and I am actually using my keyboard not my steering wheel because I've just been playing around as you can probably tell with Giant Senator and whatever else to get this into the map and to move all this out of the way to get my steering wheel set up just for this it's just way too much so you just have to bear with me apologies for that so just do this now get a couple more well maybe one more bucket should be should be enough I think there we go. So I'll put this bucket in as well, just to get it all working really. I'm not going to be filling it up in its entirety. So we can see that the actual shovel trigger, if you like, does work perfectly fine. It allows us to put the silage in no problem using a wheel loader, so that's good. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to a different vehicle and I will then bring down some straw which I got from my last video which was to do with the bale master so I'm just going to run this down and put the 16,000 litres of straw into there come into cab oh dear like I said can't drive very well in cab I'm afraid I'm really a third person type of guy outside the cab We'll work with it. Okay, so now if I just come round. And we'll take this down to the mix station and just test out that trigger and all the bits and pieces. Turn off the F1 menu there, I find it gets in the way. Now I'm going to come back out of cab to reverse in here because I can't do that getting very well so come around to the trigger here and there we go we've got our tip trigger so we'll just put this in then what I'm going to do is just move this out of the way and I will pause the video 
while I go and get some grass up together because I don't have any at this current time available to me. Uh, I don't even have any hay bales I'm afraid. So I do have some silage bales but they're not quite fermented yet. So I'm just going to go and cut some grass and collect that and I will be back in a little while. Okay so as you can see I've just cut some grass and rented a big M mower. A bit cheaty but you know just to get things moving along and I've got a little puma here. Case IH Puma I think it is. What is it? 23C VX, yep. So I'm just picking up a bit of grass here, so I'll just do that and I'm just gonna return that. There we go, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll just head on over to the actual mix station here. Get off here and I'll switch back in the first person or in cab. And we'll then come back down to the farm, to the main farm here. Get back down to the mix station. And then put the grass into the mix station. And what I'll do is I'll fast forward time a little bit. And get some TMR created. And we can then check to see it all works. I'll turn that off, slow me down. There we go. That's better, a bit more speed. Okay, so we'll just come into here. And again, I'm going to go third person or out of cab to just reverse back round to the actual mix station. Like so. We hit our trigger and we'll empty that in. There we go. Perfect. And if I just jump out, come round to our info panel, bring up my F1 menu, and you can see now we have 24% silage, 31% straw, and how much we're going to get hay wise which are, is actually grass but the mix station does accept grass as well as hay which is quite good so 31% of hay okay so what I'm going to do now is just bring this forward out the way a bit so we could just check all the animations switch that off jump out and if I actually jump up on the bales here come around the back you can see that Oop, there we go all the animations it's now spraying in the appropriate feed or whatever into the mix station um, with any luck shortly there we go it should fire up and we have all of our park animations the rotors are going round all mixing the appropriate bits and pieces together to give us a TMR so fantastic so what I'm going to do is just like I say fast forward time slightly well you can see the beacon has actually changed over to green to show that it's working so that's good so I'm just going to fast forward time we've got the fast forward mod installed so I'm just going to come around a little bit that should be fine and there we go it's gone red because I've probably run out of something and the little ticker tape thing across the top of the screen shows me that mixing plant one silage silo is empty that's because I only put a couple of buckets in so I expected that to run out so that's fine and we can have a look at our info there and it confirms solid is actually empty but we have actually got 28,800 litres I assume that is of total mixed rations or 28% whichever you prefer to ok so I'm going to start this up again and then we'll just come round to our trigger for the actual output pipe and hopefully if I can get this under here in one go we have our TMR, like so. Perfect. So yeah, all working as intended. So, quite a straightforward mod to actually import into a map. Not too bad. Um, and I can actually come round if I want to here. And I'll just jump out here. We'll open up the door. And we'll come on in. I might just... Actually, I'll go in forward, doesn't really matter. If I've got enough room to just swing in, there we go. So I'll just come in here now, come to the trigger, and give our cow some TMR. So there we go. Perfect. So yeah, all working as intended. Um, just come out back around to the actual mix station here.
close that later that's fine we'll jump over this one okay so yeah mixing station for total mix ration imported into the map via giant Serta. all the scripts set up um, like I said the sound files and everything because it's a placeable they're allocated in a specific manner or set up in a specific way that the actual path file name is created for us by importing it into the map via a specific folder structure so that's great don't have to make any changes there actual facts the changes into giants editor were very few if none if none at all just literally importing the actual mod itself was all we required to do and then just save the actual giants editor session so that was quite good a few changes to the mod desk and allocating the path file names for the scripts and like i said before i did move the scripts or make a copy of the scripts and put them in a different folder just simply because it allowed me to minimize the length of the actual path file name but again i will leave that on you to decide how you wish to implement that into your own map so i think we're pretty much done there thank you very much for watching as always and i will catch you on the next one